someone he loved died. Wow. Come on, that's scandalous. That, that is a text that just got to jump out at you because you got to say, okay, if Jesus is supposed to be the savior of the world and he was supposed to be somewhere, but he wasn't there, and because he wasn't there, somebody died, then maybe I shouldn't be trusting Jesus like you said I should, Pastor. Mm. Maybe Jesus can't be trusted like we say he can. Come on, see, that's, 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 that, that, that's, that, that's that part of the text that folk don't want to talk about. Come on. So now look at this, the paradoxical picture. You see it? Do you see it? Jesus, God in flesh. Jesus, the, the perfect sacrifice, the one who did not sin, but yet he was late. It seems to me, Pastor, that your analogy of Jesus is kind of off. So now, look at this. I got to show you this. Let's, write, let's run through this text because the text is talking. Come on. Come on. Can you say that? The text is talking. Text is talking. You always listen. The way you gauge a great preacher is you take a look at what, where is he coming from? Where, what text is he coming from? Does he know how to break down a text, give you that, that, that background, that context? That is what makes a preacher great. Not if he can holler, moan, and hoo-hoo. Not that. Not that. How does he relate the text and does it become relevant to you in your life? So now look at this. This paradoxical picture, it starts off like this. Jesus is with his disciples and he gets word that his friend Lazarus is sick. Come on, I need you to think about this. What would you do if you heard one of your good, good friends, somebody that's very close to you, was sick? How would you feel? And Jesus, look at this, he had a special relationship with Lazarus and his family. Uh, let's take a look at John 11, verse number 3. Uh, there the Bible says, therefore, the sisters sent to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. So in other words, uh, Martha and Mary, which is Lazarus's sister, they send a message to Jesus and say, Jesus, the one you love, your friend, your boy, your ace, he's sick. <sighs> Man. So now look at this. You got to understand that they knew Jesus and they had a special relationship with Jesus. So they, they saw all the miracles Jesus did. They saw him turn water into wine. They saw him heal blind people. They saw him do things. So guess what? My brother, your friend, is sick. You healed other folks. Come on and take care of us. Come on now. Come on. Come on. That's like a mechanic fixing everybody else's cars. But then when his go down, he, go, he don't fix it. Come on, what? <laughs> I can't get to you. My car broke down. You the mechanic. Okay, y'all didn't get that one. Amen. When the mechanic say he can't come because his car broke down, you'll get that one. Amen. So now look, it, is, it was expected that if he miraculously met the needs of so many others, that he would meet their needs too. Come on now. Let's, let's come on. Think about it. If we friends and he healing everybody else, come on. Ain't I, ain't I on the list? Amen. So now look. Jesus gives his initial assessment. I love this. Come on, take a look at it with me. He gives his initial assessment. So as soon as he hears it, there's something that Jesus says. There's, a, there's an assessment. There is a, there is a, 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 a utterance that he gives that, that, that kind of sums up how he feels about what he just heard. So remember, I said his good friend, his boy, said they said he's sick, right? So now look at what he says in response. Y'all ready? John 11 and 4. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Hmm. I know what you're saying. Wow, that's a powerful word, Jesus. That sickness is not unto death, and so he, he going to go, and God going to get glory from this. But there's a problem. Remember I told you about context? There's a problem with this text. There's a problem with what Jesus just said. What is it? Lazarus was already dead when he said it. Lazarus is already dead. And Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. Hmm. If Lazarus is already dead, then how can the result not be death? 
So y'all missed that. If Lazarus is already dead. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me make this relevant. If my bills are already behind. If my family has always been in this situation. If my children will never change. Are you, are you seeing this? So, so now look at this, look at this. Uh, 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 Lazarus is already dead, so how can it not result in death? There seems to be a contradiction. Jesus said it ain't going to be on to death, but Lazarus is already dead. So now look at this. Jesus makes an unusual decision. He makes a very unusual decision. What is it? He decides not to go to his friend and see about him. I can see y'all rearing up right now. Mm, some friend he is. Amen. Eh? What a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah, right. Come on, y'all. <laughs> he decides not to go see about it. Instead, Jesus does something that even seems irresponsible. Are y'all ready for this? John 11 and 6. Look what it says. So when he heard that he was sick. Y'all, did y'all see that, right? He heard that he was sick. So what? Guess what? He got the message. They told him when he heard he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Don't worry about it, dog. That's, that's just last of them tripping. Come on, let's stay a couple more days. Amen. Oh, gosh. Y'all not hearing that. What? Come on. Anybody ever seen that episode of Seinfeld when Elaine was going to the hospital to see her friend but stopped and got some, some, some junior mints before she went? Come on, y'all ain't. Y'all don't watch TV. Amen. Amen. She stopped and got some junior mints and then went to see him. And then she got to the hospital. He said, hey, where'd you get them from? She said, the concession stand. He said, didn't they tell you I was in the hospital? He said, yeah. She said, he said, well, where'd you get them from? She said, from the concession stand. So you stopped to get some. Come on, y'all in. <laughs> Woo. Okay, y'all ain't, y'all ain't playing with me now. So now, so now Jesus said, come on, we gonna crank up the party for two more days. Don't worry about it. He'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Rather than rush to his friend's side, he stays where he was for two more days. Now, look at this. this. The text is really crazy because for these two days, the Bible does not record that Jesus speaks any more about the, this, that Lazarus and his sickness. <laughs> he don't even talk about it. What? Oh, my God. He started teaching, doing some other stuff. So now look. Can I say to you, can I, 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 can I just uh, interject some things here? I, I, it, it seems as though, it just seems to me, as I read this text, as I, as I gather uh, this scenario, as I look at it, and, and from the perspective of people, uh, I, I, I kind of envision, and I kind of get, and I know you get this too, that Jesus kind of said, I'll be there when I get there. I, I, I'll get there. I'll be there when I get there. You don't rush me. I'll get, I'm, you know who I am? Come on, y'all see y'all in. His response to their request is delay. Okay, y'all didn't get that. Have you ever found yourself in situations in your life where it seems like Jesus hit the pause button on you? Lord, I've been calling you for, for three days. Come on. I ain't hearing nothing. I ain't seeing nothing. And Jesus, he with his boy saying, well, I'll be there when I get there. God. Woo. Come on, touch your neighbor and say, I've been there. I've been there. Amen. I, I've been there. Come on. Everybody I know has called on the Lord and they, I need a miracle. Come on, Jesus. Come on. And I don't just mean at the crap table. I, I, come on, Jesus. I need a miracle right now. And don't nothing happen. Yeah. Oh, God, this is good. Touch your neighbor and say, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm glad I came tonight. I'm glad I. Amen. 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 I was going to sit at the house and watch Netflix. I'm glad I came to church. <laughs> Amen. Y'all almost going to watch Netflix? Amen. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, now Jesus, look at this. He makes now a shocking statement. Y'all with me? He makes a shocking statement. Look at John eleven fourteen 14 and 15. Then Jesus said plainly, 
because he said, he said to his disciples, okay, look, it's time for us to get out of here. We get ready to go. Come on, it's time. We're going to go on and, and move on and, and, and get over there to where Lazarus is. And so they were saying, okay, uh, you know, so he said, so, they, they, he, so Jesus said plainly to them, Lazarus is dead. And then look at the next part. And I'm glad. <sighs> stop, 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 stop. If you don't see the scandalousness of that text. He said, Lazarus, my friend, who I love, who's, who, who's close to me, is dead, and I'm glad for your sakes that I was not there. Then what he, look what he said, that you may believe. He said, nevertheless, let us go to him. Now, don't miss this. This is so minute that if you're not careful, you're going you're gonna to jump right over this. If Lazarus is dead... How are they going to see him? Okay, you missed it. See, you, you're thinking in the vernacular of us and what we do here, where we, you know, make the bodies nice and pretty, and, you know, put it out, and everybody can come and view the body, right? Okay, first of all, Jesus told them that he was dead, and then, look at this, he said, we're going to go to him. Not go see him. We're going to him, which means they were going to meet him. They were going to spend some time. Y'all ain't hearing this. Jesus is saying something that's prophetic, that's crazy, that, but it don't make sense. Lazarus is dead, but we going to spend some time with him. Not only did he know Lazarus was dead, he said that he was glad he wasn't there. Woo. You know this? Because I, I can see right now that the disciple, their emotions is going crazy because, hold up now, one minute you said he was sick. Then you said he wasn't going to be sick to death. Now you're saying he's dead. You just contradicted yourself, Jesus. He ain't going to die. Now he dead. And now you're saying we're going to see him, or, or emphatically, we're going to spend some time with him. Okay, y'all ain't, y'all ain't. This text exhausted me because I, I was like, oh, my God, it's an emotional roller. Emotional roller. Come, oh. come on back. Come on back, Jesus. <laughs> was Jesus playing a big worm right now? Was he pulling a big worm? Y'all know big worm. <laughs> you playing with my emotions. Smoke. Okay. I, I'm just trying to make the text relevant. I really am. I really am. Amen. So now look at this. He reveals his purpose. 